Okay, there's four of you. I guess my son isn't the only one who has online friends. Take that, Toby. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. If enough people do it, maybe we can break the internet. To quote the Black Eyed Peas, let's start things now. Hi, I'm Todd, and that's with two Ds, so keep an eye out for my friend request. Before we begin, check out this quick tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So, in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist, and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a crowdfunding site. So you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. You're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can.
It's the moment of truth. you laugh the hardest. Vote now. Here's what people think. Here's who burned you. Some points for them. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Oh dear. Who should I be the most proud of? Let's find out. Great. Now let's go to a web forum. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. this inspires you, take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. Is anyone else's heart racing right now? Here are your candidates. Now place your votes.
And here are the results. Poochie Mama. <laughs> Okay, let's see what that round does. Let's keep this party train moving and go to a e-commerce site. Another prompt is headed your way. Now get to it. the drill. Let's see how this pans out. Let's get those boats in. Let's see who got the point. Look at this half wit. <laughs> Scoreboard time. And our last stop of the game will be at a uh, photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so try not to screw this up. All right, here's your last prompt. You know what to do. It's 
time to take the gloves off. Really go for it this time. Okay, let's see how you've grown as writers. Okay, time to vote. Let's see who got the votes. Woof, I'm glad I'm not you. Oh man, it all comes down to this. Nice job. This will be a great story to share with your grandchildren one day.
We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no-holds-barred tournament. And your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering! I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. Best name for a football team of scrappy underdogs. Enter your answers now. You're all going to write two of your best answers. If one of them wins the whole bracket, you'll be rolling in cash. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. Time's running out. Your answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to sidle up to the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you could win some sizable bonus bucks. Times the predictions are in. It's time to dive into our first bracket. This could get ugly. Use your device to vote on which you think deserves to win. But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. That victory will not require a recount, but I'm not allowed to talk about politics. And that answer pays out 20 prediction winners. Moving on to our next matchup. It's a bracket like this that truly makes this game the sport of kings. Oh, split vote. Tap on your device as fast as you can to cheer for your answer. The tie has been broken. I'm going to miss the tie times. No one could have predicted this one. Let's see what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. Former teammates, will these two answers be able to stay focused on the matchup? Oh, that win was so big, you could hear it in the next state over. And now, our last two contenders face off! That had more ups and downs than a roller coaster! Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. Hey, you got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is gonna win. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Oh, it doesn't get more contentious than this.
to Doodle Valley. Don't forget to donate to our Save the Whales campaign to preserve the beached whale skeletons the kids play in. Thank you all for volunteering or feeling so free. to Doodle Valley where nobody locks their doors. I've checked every single door. Where to today, Mr. Mayor? Right here. Keep in mind, I'm putting you on a short timer so you don't get lost in artistic thought. Okay, volunteers. Ready, still ready, and ready. I mean, go. Finish. I may not know art, but I know what I like, and I like both of these. Sadly, only one can win. Hey, quit fooling around and vote! Moment of truth. We've got our results. Not so fast, Melissa. Each match, I'm gonna single out one emoticon for a special reward. The drawing with the most of the emoticons will get a little bonus. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most laughing fellas. <laughs> the people have spoken. Okay, let's see what you two can do. Time to vote! And the bonus goes to the drawing with the most hearts. Oh. 
Wonderful. Now you two get to add something. Let's keep the civic pride rolling. Go. It's voting time! Okay, count them up! Up next... Go! That shook out. Nobody move! I think our painting is complete! But it still needs a title. Use your device to suggest one. favorite and vote. Okay, time for the big reveal. One thing's for sure, no one but you guys could have or would have done this. I couldn't have done better myself. Where's the next stop on our beautification tour? I'm thinking here. I've got a good feeling about this one. Go. Voting time! Rack up those votes! Next up... Go! Let's count those votes. Next up... Go! 
Away. Here we go. Up next, go. Let's see how that shook out. This bad boy is ready for a title. Now vote for your favorite. Okay, time to take it all in. Well, that's something you can't unsee. That's something. What's next, Mr. Mayor? Unless my watch is stopped, it's time for another portrait for the town hall. <laughs> Don't forget, everyone draws at once this time. Time to choose another citizen. And just flip through the old Doodle Valley phone book. Here we go. That's who you're going to draw. Are you sure that wasn't the town's pet registry? Hey, come on. Don't question me. I'm the mayor. That's why I wear this top hat. And his jacket with the long tail in the back and the trousers. Well, and I suppose spats. pets are people too. Why don't you start by drawing a head on this cute mantle. little animal body? Hmm? body Whatever head you want like is head. fine with me. Bad options here, but let's vote on which is best. Okay, next let's do the legs.
slap a tail on there, huh? Finally, finish off this drawing with anything you want. Go nuts with it! together. Oh, it's just like the last day of camp. Oh no, a tie! Democracy failed us. Now, now, Rosemary. As mayor, I get to break all the ties. How about I pick this one? Get out your cameras, it's time to see the finished piece! Picasso would be proud! You all did our town proud! But let's see who did it the proudest! Civic Doodle, Civic Doodle, just find a blank wall cause we're gonna have a ball once you start to play this game. Civic Doodle, three piece suitable, but I'm tying a vest cause you gotta look your best if you're gonna doodle with me. I'll come to Doodle Valley, it's a play.
to Monster Seeking Monster. I'm your host, Felicia the Wicked. I'll be hosting six nights of putrid pairings, where you'll try to convince other players to go. Welcome to Monster Seeking Monster. I'm your host, the Dweller at Midnight, but you can call me Felicia. I'll be hosting six nights of suspense-riddled romance, where you'll try to convince other players to go out with you by sending them secret messages. Each night, you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on a date and both earn a heart. At the end of the game, the monster with the most hearts wins. Usually. Did I mention you're all secret monsters? Check your devices now to see your secret powers and how you can earn bonus hearts if you put them to good use. This is going to be really scary. I mean fun. This is going to be fun. Let's start by chatting with other players and trying to set up dates. You can only send four messages each night, so use them wisely. Your secret messages might not be secret forever, so keep that in mind. Now, on your device, pick the one person you hope you're going on a date with tonight. I'm keeping my mandibles crossed for everyone to do well. Okay, let's see who everyone tried to date. And if you don't get a date, don't worry. This is just the first time. Don't. 
Stick around, there's another one for you. Wow, what an exciting first night. It would be weird to have a scoreboard at a dating event, but we do have a scoreboard at this dating event. It looks like you're doing the best, and you're temporarily in last place. Welcome to Enough About You. I'm Cookie Masterson, and that's enough about me. Hey, it's my three favorite people. And you. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. Audience members get to guess the truth and pick decoy lies to fool the players. Let's play. Here's how it works. I'm going to beam a question about you to your device. Answer with the truth. During the game, you'll make up lies about the other players. You get 500 points for fooling people with your made-up answers, 1,000 for finding the truth, and when the question's about you, you get reputation points for players who get the right answer. Got all that? Good. Time to answer your question. Here's the first question. The movie that everyone loves but this player hates is blank. Okay, enter your lies. I'm serious about that timer. Finish quick. All right, pick the truth. And what did people pick? Nobody thought of this. Okay, focus up. If this player had their own robot, its primary job would be blank. Write your lies now. Hurry 
up and finish before time runs out. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. Try this one. A weird thing this player can't bring themselves to throw away is blank. Type in your lies now. Almost up. Okay, seek the truth. All right, let's see what you guys picked. Here's the question. The most outdated piece of technology that this player owns is blank. All right, type in your lies. Right, find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick? Entering the final round. Everyone writes one truth and one lie about themselves. Whatever comes to mind, and make that lie good. You'll rack up points for every sucker you fool and for finding other players' truths. Get to it. We're at the halfway point on that timer. Make sure you submit one truth and one lie before it's up. Alright, 
which statement's true? Oh, 